This is the first of three videos for problem 7. We have a right angled triangle of hypotenuse E, other two sides C and D, and internal angles A and B. A is unknown, B is unknown, C, this side is 8.64 units, D is unknown, and E, the hypotenuse, is 40.88. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. In this video we're going to use our trig tools to find out the measure of A, what the size of the angle A is. So if we start with the sine, so the sine of the angle A, which we don't know yet, is equal to the opposite, which is C, 8.64 over the hypotenuse, we know what the hypotenuse is, it's E, 40.88. This looks promising, as is an equation in one variable, A. Now let's see, are there any others we could use? Let's try cosine. So if we say the cosine of the angle A equals the adjacent, which is D over the hypotenuse E. D is an unknown. The hypotenuse is 40.88. This is of no use to us. There's an equation in two variables. Let's try tan. So the tan of the angle A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is 8.64 and the adjacent D is unknown. This is an equation in two variables A and D and we cannot solve it so cross that out. We can also try another tool which is Pythagoras' theorem which states that the square and the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. The hypotenuse is E, so E squared is 40.88 squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. C is 8.64, so square that up. And the other side is D, D is unknown plus D squared. We are looking for the measure of A, the size of A, but this equation is uh, an equation of one variable D, and that's of no use to us because it's A we're looking for. Another tool at our disposal is that the, the sum of the angles, the internal angles in a triangle, must add up to 180 degrees. So this is angle A. We don't know what A is, so we put it in. So A. This angle is a right angle. We know a right angle is 90 degrees. This angle B, we don't know, just put in that as B. That must equal to 180 degrees. This is of no use to us because it's an equation in two variables. And we can only solve an this type of equation unless if for one variable unless they're simultaneous equations in which we can fi find more. The only tool that seems to work for us is sine of A is equal to 8.64 over 40.88. So sine of the angle A is equal to the opposite which is C 8.64 over the hypotenuse, which is E, which is 40.88. We can do a bit of calculator work here to simplify this. And we get sine of A is equal from the calculator, 8.64 divided by 40.88 is equal to 0 0.2114. We're looking for A, we're not looking for the sine of A. We want to get rid of the sine here which means use its inverse. The inverse of sine is just called inverse sine and the notation for that is sine to the power of minus one 
that's the inverse sine we'll take the inverse sine of the sine of a and as this is an equation we have to do the same on the other side so it's inverse sine of 0 0.2114 the inverse of sine inverse sine of sine cancels and we're left on the left hand side is a on its own and that equals the inverse sine of 0 0.2114 we could find that out from a calculator This is the sign button. Above it in yellow we have the inverse sign and to activate the inverse we have to press the second function here on this. So we want to find the inverse sign of point 0.2114. So we press the second function sign. And it'll come up on the screen of you can see the, the notation there for the inverse sign to the power of minus 1. We key in then 0 0.2114 equals, and that equals 12.2 to one decimal place degrees. So A equals 12.2 degrees to one decimal place, and we can write that in here, 12.2 degrees. In the next two videos, we're going to find the values for the other unknowns, B and D.